It's easy to get wrapped up in a lot of the more serious hunting pursuits, whether it be turkeys or whitetails or other big game animals. But sometimes it's nice to just get out there and have some fun and take a walk in the woods. And one of the cool ways to do that is with squirrel hunting or other types of small game hunting. But with squirrels in specific, while you're out there, you wanna be productive. You wanna bring home some meat. You wanna knock down some squirrels. And so while you're out there to be the most productive, there are a number of ways you can use hunt stand to get that done. So I'm gonna go over four ways that I like to use hunt stand for squirrel hunting. First of all, one of the obvious things, if you're going to hunt some new ground, make sure you mark where you parked, whether it be your side-by-side -side or your pickup truck, or if you take a boat in there, drop a pin in hunt stand, mark your parking spot so you can get back to it easily, especially if you're coming back in the dark. Another thing, if you're exploring new ground for squirrels especially, is to use the trace tool. So while you're out there, you're gonna make sure that you're not covering the same areas more than once. You're gonna be able to get out there more efficiently explore new ground. And that brings me to the third part, which is marking food sources or mast trees in specific. Whether it be oaks or hickories, you really wanna pay attention to where those food sources are and mark them in hunt stand so that you can revisit them time after time. Because if they're productive and they're producing nuts, odds are almost any time you go in there, if there's squirrels around, they're probably gonna be focused around those mast trees, especially in the mornings and evenings. So the fourth thing that you can do with hunt stand to optimize your squirrel hunting experience would be to use the distance measurement tool. Because if you've already got those mass trees marked out and you know you want to stalk your way into them, whether it be in the morning or the evening, or if you want to get out there in the mid-afternoon and maybe find some activity, maybe you don't want to get too close, but you want to be close enough where you know you're going to be able to get a shot on some of them squirrels. So if you use a distance measurement tool, you can kind of pre-scout how you're going to make your way through the woods and where you might set up so that you're in range, but not so close that you're going to bust all the squirrels out of the area. So just remember, sometimes with hunting, it doesn't always have to be so serious. Something like squirrel hunting is a great opportunity to get out there and have some fun. And if you still want to be productive, you can use hunt stand to help you make it happen.